Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So today we are continuing our series. So we want to be able to pick up some uh, health and also when we hit uh, some obstacle or probably an uh, enemy, they want to take axe damage. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep this channel going. And with your support, I want to help small developers to create their games and create small studio to create video game altogether. So when we create the studio, we can provide you with asset, animation, blueprints, and also with support, and we can help you to create your game absolutely for free. So if you want to support us, the best way to go is to my uh, coffee channel. So if you go to my coffee channel, you can donate for just one dollar, or you can be a member if you want. Depending on your subscription, they're gonna have exclusive videos, access to the video before they publish, and also the project file from this tutorial. So if we you want to see all the videos already available for the coffee members the only you need to go is go to my youtube channel subscribe to my channel in the right top corner here if you click here they want to give you a list when all the videos we already make so they're going to be the last update i update this list almost every day this is going to be the video game made for my wife if you want to check it out and also all the free stuff from for everybody also the new video added in the last update and also the old exclusive videos all unpublished tutorial video all unpublished game video and also all the project files so if you want to talk with me directly you need to go to my discord channel so if you have some problems in your project or you need help in your project or you something you don't know how to do it or the tutorial is not working for you or you have requests for a video you can write me from the disco for me it's more easy to respond from the disco to respond from the youtube comments and also if you want to talk with me privately or sponsorship you have to write me to my email my email and the link from the disco and coffee they're gonna be in the description of this video and also remember the 100 percent of the money uh, race they're gonna be for the uh, for the creation of video game and for the youtube channel so thank you and let's start the tutorial so let's go to Unreal and we make this already to the series so we can be able to pick up some uh, points and also they spawn some enemy right now <laughs> they don't spawn nothing but we have the, this ball of fire we can avoid it we can pick up these points so two three and uh, this blocking but right now if we hit uh, something for example this ball they don't do it absolutely nothing just dragging out it is really bad so we want to be able to um, take us damage and also we can pick up some item to recover uh, health so let's do that first we need to uh, health bar first so we need to go we are in the runner go to ui and we have this uh, hat widget so let's open it and we have this one for the for distance also this one for the coins so we can put this zero i don't know why let's say well we can leave it like that it's okay so let's do uh let's bar so let's do here we can call one we have it here proper bar so we can put in here maybe i don't want to be far away so let's do this more big so let's anchor this to the left bottom so let's do it like that uh, let's do it like this so we have better alignment so let's do like this and also probably i want to a little more big so let the 70 not too much so let's do 50 like that okay so and also we want to change the color probably so fill up so let's go in here oh in here yeah so let's put this to some color probably i want some red to be health so and also the percent we can do one so we have full life and also also if we have hard life they're gonna be like that so that's perfectly fine so we can leave it like that so they can be one for now so we have full uh, life and also how the file feel so i want to maybe to left to right or we can go to from the center fill on the center that is really a cool stuff but i want to leave it like that for now 
So let, we need to bind this to our help on the character, but we need to create that in the character blueprint. So let's go to map, go to end runner, go to character, and go to the main character. So let's open it. And here we need to create a new variable. So let's create a new one and let's call this health. And this is gonna be a float. So let's compile and save. And the health, they're gonna be always one. And remember the float, they're working from zero to one. So don't, don't pay, put this here like 100 or 300 because they don't have really a sense. So if you want to do that, it's probably to use an integer. But for, for floats, use to 0 to 1, that's better to work it with. So let's do 1, so they're going to be full health. So let's compile and save. So now we have this. So we want to be that um, in here. So let's go to UI in here. Let's go to percent and let's bind this so let's create a binding uh, let's separate this a little bit disconnect this because we don't need it we have the reference already for the player that's really great so let's go get and also from here they're gonna be get health and we can connect this directly to here so let's compound save so right now, if we go, go play, we have this uh, bar right there. But if we hit something, they don't do nothing. But if we have this uh, really good, uh, if we do it right, if we put here 0 0.5 for the half life, they're gonna have that in the half of the bar here. So they're working perfectly fine. So let's put this on one again. Compile and set, save. So let's make these enemies to take our uh, damage. So to make the obstacle to take our life, that's really uh, easy to do. The only we need to go to LR Runner, we need to go to our blueprints, go to object, and we need to go to a main object blueprint. So open here, and we only need to go to the static mesh we have here, go all the way down, and here when they say block all dynamic and collision, we need to change this to uh, overlap all. So doing this, so compound save. Now, if we can play, we can hit something if they don't do absolutely nothing. We because we are disable the collision. They only doing the overlapping system. So that's really cool to make that. So and also real make at this for us really easy because we have here actor begin overlap. So we don't need uh, this one even tick. So in here. We can make a uh, cast here to the player. So let's cast to DB the blueprint. The object they're gonna be get player character. And also promote this to a variable. So I am doing here because if we do in here the casting, we are casting this stuff all the time when we overlapping the actor. We don't want to do that. We want to only cast in one time. So we cast in this. So also from here. So if the other actor is equal to our this one to the picture of the blueprint. So if we overlapping with the character, if it's true, so let's do a branch, a question. If it's true, I want to from here get health oops get health and we want to reduce or subtract some values uh, we can make this uh, for genetic for example we can do uh, a 0 0.25 maybe so they're gonna be for uh, all the optical we hit we're gonna take uh, 25 if you want to some actor to be different you can promote this to a variable and make this uh, for example you can provide a variable here and you can open the id if you want or change this value in the blueprint from the other actor so for me they're gonna be okay so i want to to all the objects that take the same so they're gonna be 25 so for hit they're gonna be zero so in here we make this so we have also to 
update the health so gonna be from the uh, DP character we can do it from here so we can open this and we can be see, set health to, so we can update the health to this new health like that so we can put this in here probably may I hear ring out like that something like that so we can this already made so we can compile our save so if we go play now if we hit something for example the ball they want to take us 25 you see the uh, progress bar if I hit this they want to be the same 20% 20% and also if you will hear that's going to be it for us so I still alive <laughs> but we're supposed to be uh, dead dead so that's that for that so let's do our pickup so so we can be able to pick up some health so to pick up some items so pick up some health so they're really easy too so we need we, we already create the most difficult part so we go to Nigara um, folder and here we need to go to the uh, main pickup right click it create a child rubric class so we can uh, this one we can rename this to probably set health um, pickup I don't know you can call it like you like it so blueprint like that so let's open this um, health pickup so we have this we have that one overlap this one so we can even graph so we can delete this and we can use this sphere um, here so we can right click it said add event so we can get here at oh, component begin overlap so I don't know if we have the reference here for the player so let's check so dp character yes we have the reference from the main character so get us dp character blueprint if you know if you don't know what you're talking about this the main pickup we create this uh, gas from here so we have this reference so let's go here so we need to do the same like the overlapping so other actors if it's uh, equal to this domain branch so if we are equal to this we want to be added uh, so life so let's go here get health no life health i forgot the name so get health let's go reroute here so get health let's add it and let's put here uh, probably uh, let's put a half of life so that's gonna be better if we can pick up and also set health so we can update this uh, health so if it's true let's go like this so let's reroute this and this one to this one so copy and save and the Niagara, Niagara we want to put something so let's check here what we have we have this health okay and we have these ones okay too so let's try this one okay so I think when I use this pickup trick yeah I want to be that one so let's put this maybe why is why housing okay let's put this to 10 and let's go like oops so we want to sphere do it like that or we can leave it where it is it's okay so we can compile and save and we wait we need to add this health pickup so let's go to our end runner go to blueprints go to raw blueprint and here we have all these random system so they're really great so in here let's go to object class here and we want to add it in here so let's add a new one and call this our health pickup blueprint so we can compile and save so now we can go play and we can see that so if I hit here they're gonna hit 25 if I pick this oh, I 
<laughs> I miss. So if I pick this one, they want to add it uh, 50. So if we don't want to be able to pick it up, if we have full health because they don't have really a why to do that, so we can do it in a different way. So let's go to health pickup in here, event graph, event graph. In here, we need to do use a little question here. So we can use here a branch. So let's do a branch. So only if it's true. So let's move this. So if the health is um, equal or greater, and greater and equal to one, we can be able to pick it up. But I connect this is true, so we need to do this in opposite. So let's do not. So not not, not that one. Not boolean. So not boolean. So that means if we are greater or equal to one, is not that one. We can able to pick it up, or we can connect to false and delete this. So let's compile and save. So now, if we have full life, I want to be pick up this. They don't do nothing, but they destroy when we hit it. But they're gonna be okay for now because we don't need it really. So, so that's it. So that is the system. We we can uh, take some damage, um, and also we can able to pick up some life. So now we check if we can pick up some points yeah we can pick up some point and we can pick up some the last help system so that's it so that's gonna be it for this video so if you want to support us uh, the best way to do it is go to my coffee channel so uh, remember we want to create that um, small studio so we can help to uh, developers to create the games and we can provide us with your asset uh, blueprint animation and also we can help you uh, create your game absolutely for free so thank you for watching yeah i see you in the next video so bye bye